Hello, uh, this is Dr. Neela Bakore. And in the previous segment, we saw the complete process of photosynthesis, including the light reaction and dark reaction, that is Kelvin cycle. We also discussed the simplified version of Kelvin cycle act and the actual intermediate steps which take place during that. Now, do all plants perform the same type or same photosynthesis? The answer is yes, all plants perform the same process, but in some plants during certain conditions, this process of photosynthesis gets affected. When we were talking about Kelvin cycle, we said carbon dioxide is accepted by a 5 carbon compound called RUBP, rubulose biphosphate and this reaction is helped by an enzyme which is Rubisco. Now, in this process there is addition of carbon dioxide which is known as carboxylation. addition of carbon dioxide. Now, in certain conditions, the behavior of this enzyme which is acting as a carboxylase changes. The conditions are number 1, when the temperature is high. So, higher temperature. This condition is seen in temperate regions. Where uh, during summers it gets extremely hot. So, when the temperature is very high at that time this enzyme Rubisco instead of a carboxylase it starts to act like an oxygenase. So, these are the conditions. Second condition is when oxygen concentration is again high. So, if these two conditions are there or even if one condition is there that is higher temperature, Rubisco starts to act as oxygenase. What does this mean? It means instead of addition of carbon dioxide, it facilitates or helps addition of oxygen. So, now this same Rubisco will help another reaction. The reaction is going to be oxygen accepted by RUBP. So, in this case the original uh, Kelvin cycle which we talk of which takes place during all normal conditions at that time Rubisco favors carboxylation that is addition of carbon dioxide. But in these two conditions the enzyme starts to act like oxygenase and that is why when we write the full form of Rubisco we write it as Rubilose by phosphate carboxylase oxygenase. So, this is how the full thing is written because this enzyme is capable of helping carboxylation as well as oxidation or addition of carbon dioxide or oxygen. Now, if this happens, we will see the entire process. In this entire process, ultimately carbon dioxide will be released. So, if we compare the regular Kelvin cycle and this other reaction, I am not writing the name right now. Let us first understand what, what happens and then it will be easier for to understand why we are giving that name to this process. So, in Kelvin cycle, carbon dioxide is taken in and oxygen is given out as a byproduct. In this case oxygen is taken in and by the end of this process carbon dioxide is given out. So, basically what is happening is whatever carbon is fixed by 
photosynthesis or whatever work is done by photosynthesis is undone by this process. Now this process is very similar to respiration. In respiration we take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide. Same thing plants also do. They take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide. So it is similar to respiration but it is under the control of light. So it is light controlled reaction. So the name given to this is photo respiration. In photo respiration all that or most of the carbon dioxide which is fixed during the normal photosynthesis is released. From where is this carbon coming? It is coming from some product which was or which is in this reaction. So that carbon which was fixed by photosynthesis is getting released. Problem is in areas where the temperature is high like temperate region and if oxygen concentration is higher. So let us talk about certain plants where this problem is predominantly found. So plants which get affected by this photorespiration are all those plants which grow in temperate region. Let us write some examples wheat, rice, barley. These are the plants which grow in temperate region and the temperature whenever it reaches higher side during summer especially at that time photosynthesis also takes place but along with it this one more process starts which is photorespiration. Now let us take this entire process of photorespiration in detail and then we will write one more name which is given to this respiration. The organelle which are involved in this complete process are three. First is chloroplast, then a microbody that is peroxisome. and mitochondria. So three organelles are involved in this process of photorespiration. Now if carbon dioxide because both these things are going to take place simultaneously Kelvin cycle also that means photosynthesis also takes place but because of the change condition some rubisco is going to help in carboxylation and some rubisco helps in oxygenation. When oxygen concentration increases when temperature rises affinity of rubisco towards oxygen increases and towards carbon dioxide decreases. If we take a normal temperature oxygen condition then its affinity is towards carbon dioxide. When temperature rises oxygen is more, rubisco's affinity towards oxygen is more. So if both the gases are available that is carbon dioxide and oxygen and temperature is high and oxygen concentration is more. Rubisco has more affinity or greater affinity towards oxygen. So now in both the cases suppose we are talking about the normal Kelvin cycle that is RuBp accepts this carbon dioxide here this is Rubisco which is helping in carboxylation and in this case the substance or the product which is formed the first stable compound is PGA and it will again go through the same process of PGAL and regeneration. So it is a typical C3 cycle or Kelvin cycle. If oxygen is more 
then what is going to happen in that case this oxygen is also accepted by or let us use the same RUBP here because RUBP when we come to regeneration will come back to the same point. So, some RUBP undergoes carboxylation and some RUBP undergoes addition of oxygen. Same enzyme, but it is rubis co that is oxygenase. Here it is carboxylase. Now, here it was phosphoglyceric acid which was synthesized in the normal C3 cycle. Here the substance which is synthesized is phosphoglycolate. Normal when conditions are okay that is temperature or, or normal oxygen concentration normal. But if temperature is high and oxygen concentration is high, that time Rubisco acts as oxygenase. So, it helps in addition of oxygen to RUBP. The substance which is formed or the compound which is formed is phosphoglycolate. This phosphoglycolate loses the phosphate and changes into glycolate. Glycolate diffuses from chloroplast to peroxisomes. So, now this enters, this is again glycolate, it enters into the next organelle that is peroxisome. We know in peroxisome there are two main enzymes, one is oxygenase, another is catalase. This glycolate undergoes oxidation, addition of oxygen. The enzyme that helps is oxygenase. So, now this glycolate gets oxidized into glyoxidase, glycolate to glyoxidase or glyoxylate. Glyoxylate, oxidized form. This glyoxylate dissociates into one amino acid that is glycine and hydrogen peroxide glycine and hydrogen peroxide. This hydrogen peroxide with the help of same enzyme oxidase and catalase will dissociate into water and oxygen. This glycine There is one more thing which is released, we will use a different color to write this. An amino group is released. Now three things are formed, hydrogen peroxide, an amino acid called glycine and a group is released. This amino group will be reused very soon. This glycine diffuses into mitochondria. two molecules of glycine. So, here we are writing two molecules. They will form one molecule of another amino acid serine. So, two glycines form a serine. At this time two more things are released. One is this amino group which diffuses back 
okay sorry we made a wrong arrow here let us correct it this amino group is used it is required for synthesis of glycine okay so there is a slight change amino group is used and two things are there formed glycine and hydrogen peroxide so this amino which is coming from here gets used so this keeps circulating between peroxisome and mitochondria so when glyce two glycines form one serine one amino group is released and carbon dioxide is given out this carbon dioxide is released without ATP synthesis or NADPH2 synthesis or any energy giving substance. So basically this carbon dioxide is being given out without any gain anywhere. So whatever carbon was fixed because this carbon from where is this carbon coming? What was coming in was only oxygen and carbon is released. So there is some carbon from somewhere which is being release so it is loss of carbon which was fixed by photosynthesis now the serine diffuses back into peroxisome in peroxisome this serine changes into hydroxypyruvate hydroxypyruvate basically now it will come back and form RUBP this hydroxypyruvate changes into glycerate glycerate this glycerate diffuses into chloroplast it changes into triose phosphate this triose phosphate forms PGA and this PGA also helps in regeneration of RUBP. So in this complete process of photorespiration what has happened is oxygen was taken in and carbon dioxide given out same as respiration as it is during photosynthesis only same enzyme is also working here so it is known as photorespiration. 3 organelle, chloroplast, peroxisome that is the microbody and mitochondria. Rubisco and oxygen or rather oxygen is added to rubisco when this enzyme acts as oxygenase. The first substance formed is phosphoglycolate which changes into glycolate. Now this glycolate diffuses into peroxisome. Here under the uh, influence of enzymes like oxygenase it changes into glyoxylate. This glyoxylate then changes into an amino acid called glycine. For amino acid formation addition of amino group takes place. Here there is an enzyme which is going to help. So this place there is an enzyme which is called glutamate glyoxylate transaminase and this amino group keeps circulating between glycine, glycine and serine thing. So now this glycine diffuses into the third organelle that is mitochondria. Two glycine molecules form one serine molecule. During this two more things are released the amino group which will be used here and carbon dioxide is given up. Serine diffuses back into peroxisome and goes back into chloroplast by alternate intermediates and ultimately PGA is formed. So this PGA and the PGA which is coming from the phosphoglyceric acid which is coming from the Kelvin cycle help in regeneration of RUBP. So in this entire process there is a loss of carbon but there is no gain neither ATP nor NADPH2. So nothing is synthesized and in case of suppose if we are talking of only respiration what happens in respiration? Oxygen is used to break down organic compound but during this breakdown energy is produced 
here there is no energy which is produced on the contrary whatever is done by photosynthesis is undone by photorespiration so it is photorespiration is a loss making process and this loss making process takes place in only certain conditions and this is this process is also taking place in C3 plants. So C3 plants which grow in normal condition they perform simple light reaction dark reaction as soon as summers approach their enzyme behavior changes and along with photosynthesis they also undergo photorespiration. Now the question comes is do all plants suffer from this process of photorespiration? Yes, all C3 plants, but there are some plants which are called C4 plants. They have adapted themselves in such a manner that they have overcome all the problems which would result into photorespiration. So there are certain adaptations by which they have avoided photorespiration. So now the next uh, cycle which we will discuss is the C4 cycle which takes place in plants specific plants which are known as C4 plants.